Hey everybody, Ed Lemberger here with some more metaphysical musing. Today's topic, why would a billionaire want to run for president? Why would a billionaire want to be president? Well, I'm going to put some uh, ideas from, a, I guess, a spiritual perspective, um, really from an energy flow perspective. And let me see what comes off the top of my head here. Um, again, do I know what I'm talking about? Who knows? <laughs> but um, I do know one thing. It's your mind to make sure it's you that's using it. So you've got to make up your own mind about all this stuff. So billionaires. Um, Mike Bloomberg and Tom Steyer uh, throw their hat in the ring. Especially Mike Bloomberg is, to me, um, it's, it's a crazy idea. And why is it a crazy idea? Because I don't really believe that he's going in there to uh, not make a profit in some sort of way for himself. Now, here's what I mean by that. There are two major flows. Now, we've talked about the flow of money. There's a distribution of money. And, of course, Mike Bloomberg is way on the scale of in a receiver position when it comes to money. So he's got his tentacles out there all over the place, and uh, he's um, absorbing money from the rest of us. And uh, he's a man, managed to amass a lot of money. And one of the things that um, I didn't really know too much about him, but when he had in uh, New York, when he was mayor of New York, and he said he wanted to not let restaurants, and I don't know if it was just restaurants or different retail outlets, not sell soda over 16 ounces, which was a crazy idea. And he talked about it somehow because it was a healthy thing, because there's too much sugar in soda. And uh, to me, what he was really doing, though, is he was trying to get something enacted on people to force them into doing something that came out of his mind for his will. And this is analogous to a cult leader type of a person. That's what they do. Okay. I view Mike Bloomberg in the cult leader type of area. And a person who uh, is trying to set up a distribution line not of money because he knows how to he knows how to set up the distribution lines of money so he's in a receiver position which puts everybody else in a donor position i mean let's face it anybody who's a billion dollars they're in a receiver position and everybody who's a little bit of their money trickles to that million billion dollar person we're all in a donor position okay everybody couldn't be a billionaire because it takes too many donors to be a billionaire. But he's willing to spend $400, $500 million on television ads and everything to run a campaign. And uh, he's willing to do that, but was he ever willing to spend four or $500 million into actually helping people on the, at the grassroots level? So what is engaging him? He's just an opportunist person. What's engaging him into going into this fray right now? You know, why is he doing this? Well, he's gaining something else. Any person, any mind who becomes the causative mind to get another person to do something that they initiate and put the other mind in the effect position, cause and effect, the mind who is at cause wins an energy stream from the mind who is in effect. So if Tom Steyer could have gotten his way and gotten um, all these restaurants in New York just to sell a 16-ounce soda, he would have gotten everybody to respond. Everybody in the New York area would be in the effect position, Tom Steyer being in the cause position. And now he's winning not only money from people, but he's winning the source energy of people because they have to move their mind into a situation where a distribution channel of source energy out of people is being uh, in flow from the mind that's in effect to the mind that's in cause. And then Mike Bloomberg becomes the uh, 
the focal point for the flow of energy out of people. And that's what he's trying to do here right now, running for president. He's trying to set up a vortex situation, and he's willing to pay for it. He's willing to pay four or five hundred million dollars to pay for it, to get people to pay attention to him so he can set up an energy vortex of people's attention coming into him. Where attention goes, energy flows. So if I put my attention onto Mike Bloomberg, which basically I'm doing right now, um, which I won't be doing too much, I just want to alert, alert people to this uh, truth of how the source energy moves between human beings in uh, the ethers of nature. So um, when he can be the center of the flow of this source energy, he feels better about himself, you know. He's getting up there an old age, an older guy, and, you know, as we age, our personal energy starts to dip. And now, you know, he saw Trump do it because that's what Trump basically has done. Trump just wanted the energy, but he wanted the attention energy from people. I can go over that in a little bit and in another video. Um, and now Bloomberg's saying, well, if Trump can do that, I'm going to do the same thing, you know. I'm having a tough time in the energy department myself in certain areas, you know. And uh, the most important area that men really want energy in, that's where he's probably having trouble with. I'm sure Trump is too. So they want energy. They want to leverage this uh, source energy out of people and into them. Tom Steyer, um, He's leveraging energy, too, and he's willing to pay for it. He's, to me, um, he's, oh, let's see, a little, he's not as hawkish as Michael Bloomberg. And certainly, I don't think either of those guys is as hawkish as Trump. He's doing the same thing. But they're trying to get our energy. So um, this is energy flow tactics that they're doing. But this is ether energy flow, and it's not, it's related to money flow, but it's a little different than that, you know. Um, it's really the flow of the ether, of the ethers of the life force of nature. That's what it is. So, oh, I'm being called here. Um, so, this is Ed Lemberger, Metaphysical Musing, and... Uh, why do billionaires want to run for president? So, thanks for viewing. Press like, share, do all that stuff. Thanks.